Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Sebastian Dujardin from Pearl Games, and we're looking at a prototype of Otis, although you mentioned the name might change. Looking the, at the name will not change. It will it's not the change. final name. Yeah. Final name. Otis. <laughs> normally, normally. <laughs> okay. Um, and I believe the target date is for Spiel 2017. Uh, yes, 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 yes. We will see the normally for SM. Okay. I, after uh, before that, I say Gencon, but it will be short for okay. us. All right. It's a coedition with Slibelud. Uh, they they work slowly, slowly. No, <laughs> <laughs> we work slowly together. Okay. Um, I hope you can give an overview of the game here. We are. Uh, I imagine it's a two to four player game. We have a couple on the yes, side two, two, who's two, playing two. as well. we'll yes. Try not to bother them. Yes, yes. and uh, it's one hour for for four players, one half hour for two players, and in Otis, it's a post. Uh, apocalyptic world mm -hmm. and all the city is underwater okay and we have a team of divers you have five divers underwater and three divers on the airs okay and the goal of the game is to find resources materials under the sea okay and uh, there is objective cards you have to find materials uh, it's not a good example because there is no color. In this situation, you need one one red and one green material. And in your team, you are four guys who find materials. When you find a materials with this guy, you just put a yellow material here. And the goal is to gather this kind of material at the same level. Okay. Okay. It's easy. I just speak about the thematical for now, but mechanically, it's mm -hmm. okay mechanically for yes, you, yes. okay. At your turn, you just choose one of the five levels under wet water, mm -hmm. for example, the four. I make the power on the main board, this is, I'm sorry, this here, four, for example. This is your personal board, this is the main board. When you make four, you have the action of the first level on the main board. Okay. And after that, the action of your diver from this level. Okay. After that, your guy go at the top of your team, where normally you lose this guy, this token. It's an action token. You lose the token, and your guy go here. You have a new organization of your team, and my turn is finished. Okay. You choose one level. You take the action. You take the action, and you go at the top. Okay. It's finished. Easy. Okay. Easy okay. for board games. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But not really because there is a lot of other power on your on your guy. Okay. You have only four guys who find treasure. You have other guys who are able to upgrade your your guy. It's possible to have a, a better level here. Mm -hmm. I can explain this. <laughs> when you make an action, you lose your token. You lose your token. You lose your token. You lose your token and you find your token again when the, there is as many tokens to reach this guy. At the beginning, you have to play all your token to win your token again. Okay. Okay. It's funny because it's clear with your material, you see all the token we reach this style, and you when you make that, it's that it's more easy to have okay. all the opportunities up new. That's right. It gives you more choices, more, more immediate choices yes. here. Okay. But it's easy in terms of rules, but complicated to optimize because you have to find a good combination between uh, all the elements of the game. When you choose these, you, you have you have to you need the good action here. It's possible to move that when you play one joker. This is your joker. When you play your joker, you can choose your level, but you change the order of this action. Okay. This action, it's win money. You can make your action twice. It's possible to win one, one energy token with this one. With your energy token, you can choose the order of your guy. When you, when you make one action, you can play one energy token to don't go on the top. You stay here. And you lose one energy token. Okay. All right. This all seems very streamlined. This seems very, yes. very much in your wheelhouse here. So, how did the partnership with you and Liebelud come about? Where, who's doing what? I, I, I was the responsible for the mechanical aspect of the of the game, and Liebelud for the artistic. 
okay. aspect. And uh, they are choose the, the illustrator is uh, Paul Mayafon, the guy who make uh, Looney Quest. Yes. But it will not as cartoon as, as Looney Quest, more, more yes. adult. Okay. okay. <laughs> to go with a post-apocalyptic world, I guess, so, you yeah. want a little more adults than, than that. This is just a prototype, there is no illustration, yes. absolutely not. But I work the mechanical aspect with Liebel too, but uh, we work together for all the aspects. But for the final decision, it's for poor games, for the, the mechanical okay. aspect. All right. Thank you very much for the overview here. Thanks. Oh, we are getting these objectives, and then we just need to get a number of them to win, or what's uh, no, the end oh, game sorry, finish? yes, the goal of the oh, game yeah. is to yeah. win 18 victory points. It's a race game, like Splodder, if you want. The yes. first to the, the level is the winner. Okay. And uh, there is some interaction because it's possible to make the, the, the same power as your neighborhood with uh, some guy. It's possible to move that. This is for each player. Player, and there is a race on the objective, yes. but it's, pos it's possible with one of your guys to have a personal objective. If we make the same objective, it's not good for the, the last one to, right. to make the objective. Okay. Okay. And uh, see you in Hessen. Yes. May in Gen Con, it will be one prototype. It's the minimum, a fina final prototype. Okay. <laughs> Something to look forward to. Maybe, Maybe several. <laughs> We shall see. Okay. All right. Thanks very much. Thank for the you overview. very much. Very bye exciting. bye.